Shots fired, a fight taken to the streets, and this chaotic scene, the ending of a shooting that started in Los Angeles, California. Sheriff's deputies pulling out a man who had been shot in an SUV. Savannah rapper Quando Rondo, a passenger in that car, frantic at the site. It all started at this mobile gas station at 5.30 Friday evening. LAPD says witnesses heard multiple gunshots, then watched a couple cars zoom off. Three people in one car shot at this black Cadillac Escalade. It's unclear if those inside shot back. Can I get, can I get some space, please? It ended at Santa Monica Boulevard. Deputies found it peppered with bullet holes and a shattered window. One man inside, a member of Ronto's entourage, had been shot. A 23-year-old was taken to the hospital where he died. A scene left with remnants of the fight, shoes left in the street, door Doors flung open. The suspects still on the run. No! <laughs> bro, act, bro. No! Accusations. These are not accusations. This is false accusations. And you're not what the fuck you going through. So just hold on and keep going. Cause I'm telling you, man, I I'm, I can name 20, 30 niggas and my homies is dead. I'm here though, and I'm gonna say some shit that like this is documented. You know, I got a TED talk. I forgave my brother's killer, and I'm saying it to say this nigga that killed my brother. My my brother died in my grandma's arms in that fucking house that we grew up in. He shot my brother, he ran to the fucking, he ran to the house. He died in Nanny Hall when she opened the door. So I'm telling you this, some real shit, man. If, if I ain't let that shit go, I won't be right here today. I won't be here for my niece and my nephews. Me and Gil won't be doing this. Y'all won't know me. I won't be able to get y'all this game. But I had to leave, I had to let that shit go. And when I let that shit go, nigga, I started to grow. And I started to glow. And now I'm here today, and it was harder than a motherfucker, man. And I'm talking about this is my big brother, nigga. I shared the cell with him. I shared the bed with him when we was fucking kids. This is little Steve. But I can tell you one thing. Now I'm out here taking care of his daughter, paying for her to go to school, taking care of my nephew, taking care of my mama and my grandmama. Talk to him. Sure. Because I forgave my brother killer, but you know I understand. I understand what y'all going through. But I love all you young niggas in here, and I mean that shit. Love you niggas, man, and I, and I hope y'all make it out. I hope y'all make it the fuck out, man. Man, he like straight so up, man. It's so crazy. Yeah, this motherfucker really dropping tears for this shit. Like we don't give a fuck. <laughs> Jesus, we don't give a fuck. Now, or now. Hey, tell, tell, count as much. tell me what's going on, Jim. Hey, you know what's so crazy though? Motherfucker be sitting up there doing all this. Sneak this and the internet games and all this. Up some money, do something. Like, <laughs> we winning, bro. Show I can do it. whatever it is I want to do, I can do it. Do not what I want, to do what I want. Y'all can't do that, bro. Goof bro, that. bro, got out what? You know that we did. How many you did all? In the year that I did it all? Yeah. That's Twelve. 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 That boy popped out. Twelve years. Twelve years. So much money. We really just getting that shit in order to just figure out the lanes, man, man, boy. This shit feels so good, man. Two lawyers, man. I tell about the building, you got? Everything. Man, it's closed on the building, man. We ain't fucking around. You know that we did it. <laughs> <laughs> it's our turn, man. <laughs> this nigga retired. Yeah, because, uh, shit, you just came home uh, not too long ago, like, when you come home. So I've been home a little bit over here. Yeah, okay. Love it over here. Yeah. Twelve years flat. Twelve years. Like right, twelve years. Did my time. Ain't told on nobody. Right. Ain't no fool shit on my name. So now I'm back. <laughs> I'm living a life I never thought I'd live. You know. Yeah, 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 but like, if you can't talk about it, like, uh, why did you have to sit down for twelve? I went to jail for a ten. Okay. A ten murder. It was more than that, but shit, that's what I did my time for. Okay. In that time. You know. Street shit. Yeah. But shit, like, like, how did you even get linked in with uh, just OTF, period? Man, yeah, shit. You know what I'm saying? I already did linked in. Yeah. <laughs> this ain't no 
people I met. Now nah, I knew them, like I'm saying, this was before G. I don't know Dirk was rapping. We had that. We came out that loud yeah, one, yeah. lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? Oh, oh like back then, oh, like before y'all, y'all never even heard of that. Like we this was shit in our parties, like yeah, personal no. shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like that's bro. Oh, no. I'm yeah. saying to my whole time in jail, mm -hmm. that stayed bro. Like before the money, you know what I'm saying? That was bro. Like I remember when the money won that. First I'ma say you fit them. Yeah, I got yeah. you and I. Yeah, still okay, that my shit. lawyer money there. Then when I fight my case, I ain't gonna lie. Dirt come through. All that, like Dirt come through. That's sure. I don't give a fuck. Nobody say like. Sure. I know I'm a real witness. Like a lot of niggas can't say anything. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna lie. My whole time in jail, I was straight. What's up? What's up? Like he was one of the main main motherfuckers that held you down your whole bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A lot of the guys did, but hell yeah, he was. I hood like that though. Yeah. yeah, I hood like that. Bro. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Everybody get to kill. Everybody get to kill. Sure. Mm -hmm. you know no game shit, none of that shit. Just like some family shit. Bro. Right. My brother locked up. Yeah, we always came got and made sure the guys were straight, right? Yeah. Shit, yeah, this before. Before you know, I was going rich. to Idaho you know, and all type of shit. That's what I'm talking about. Hell yeah, bro, like play this part for sure, like. Overplayed it. I love bro for that. Can't. That shit forever. Yeah. Yeah, because he, he's super solid, but like a lot of niggas, like, you know what I'm saying? He said, he said uh, Jam, get out that jam or give him 50. He ain't got to ask again, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? He ain't got to ask shit, bro. He said he gave you 50, bro. All you know facts. what I'm saying? Facts. 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 <laughs> <laughs> what that? shit. What that? But can you tell us how much uh, he gave you, or you don't want to even. No. You don't want to no, we ain't gotta get into all that, but bro, make sure. Shut up. your bitch ass up! <laughs> A little Dirk being indicted. Let's get into the facts. There is an indictment out in California. It's federal. It includes a charge: murder for hire. Murder for hire resulting in death is punishable by life in prison. Now, in the indictment out in California, there are five people named. None of those people is Little Dirk. There is, however, in that indictment, a mention to other conspirators. Those people could be named. They have not been named yet. What do the feds say about this conspiracy? They take you back to 2020 and the murder of King Vaughn. Then they say that after Vaughn was murdered, a high-ranking member of OTF let it be known that there was a bounty on the head of, indiv of an individual involved in that King Von murder. That's believed to be Quando Rondo. So reading between the lines of the indictment, the feds are saying that Dirk put money on Rondo's head. Then the feds say that two years later, five people from Chicago with some other conspirators traveled to LA, attempted to murder Quando Rondo, hit somebody else who was standing right next to Quando's car. The feds have a lot of evidence. They've got plane tickets. They say the plane tickets were purchased using an OTF associated credit card. They say the gun was supplied by an OTF associate. They have five people in custody. They're probably going to get some more and then they're going to start squeezing on people and say, hey, have you seen this man? Does he run this crew? Did he provide some money to you? The thing about the indictment in California, this is a murder for hire plot. And what's very interesting is they've picked up, arrested who they believe are the shooters. They've identified, they have video of the shooting and they've identified the individuals they say are the shooters. And in their indictment, they refer to co-conspirators who have not been named. And that's who they're really after, if you ask me, because you read that indictment and it says that a bounty was put up, that these guys went out, they took the shot. They attempted the bounty, they killed somebody, they went to collect on the bounty, and the indictment says the bounty was paid. And so if you can prove who paid that bounty, who's the money man, that's who you're going to want to go after if you're the feds. And so if you've got the shooters picked up, that's who you're going to lean on if you're the feds. And you're going to say, where did the money come from? Who put up the money? Now, if you can't connect the shooting to a money man, then you can't get the money man. Somebody, I mean, unless you have hard evidence of the money transfer, you're going to need somebody probably to say, yeah, it was, you're going to need a witness to say that guy gave me the money or that guy gave me the money to give to this guy. But it's very hard to prove who hands over the cash without witness testimony. I need money. Yeah. Yo, what's a message for the youth, man? I hope y'all learn from this situation with Lil Dirk, man. 
it's crazy. You know what I'm saying? When you got the crown, when you're on top of your game, when you're doing your thing, when the fans love you, when the streets love you, when everybody love you, when they give you the key to the streets, they give you everything, bro. And it's messed up, man. You got to look up and see a brother get his life took in due to a mole in your circle. Folks made all them songs locked up, uh, asking why I'm gonna be in 10 years. I told them I'm fed. Sometimes people feel this stuff. They feel it. They see it. They feel it. They know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Um, this right here is a message. Be careful to the company you keep. All this, my homies and this and that. Man, listen, man. It's so much. I'm going to go on my YouTube channel and tell y'all. OTF Jam, he felt the way. He felt the type of way. Somebody was murdered. He was on a case with one of the other uh, OTF members. And Dirk was, you know, right hands with him. And he felt the way. You know what I'm saying? Nobody did nothing for him under that aspect. So with that being said, it was some sneaky foul play behind the scenes. You know what I'm saying? He felt like motherfuckers let him down and played with him, so he let them down. He took them down. He took the whole thing. Be careful, y'all putting them chains on. You see why TV, uh, 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 Lil Faso, Lil Faso said, man, you could have the chain back. You could have the chain back, man. I'm going back to school. This street stuff, ain't, it, it ain't where it's at, man. That ain't where it's at. Mess your whole life up. And some of them guys that's locked up for that, I know them personally, personally, since I was a jit, since I was a kid, gang. You know what I'm saying? Make the wrong choice, gang. Gonna end your whole career. Your whole career is over with. And I don't wish death, and I don't wish prison on nobody, gang. The average person do this to they self. Y'all get so arrogant and cocky and big-headed and think you could do whatever you want to do. You ain't got the power, man. You ain't got that much power. Nobody bigger than the system. The feds, when they see you doing that, they coming. You playing games, we watching you. They was watching the GDs. They was watching Duck. They was watching it. The, they was watching everybody at first. They watching everybody that's in position. What they don't like is power. You got enough power to influence a motherfucker to do something to somebody or anything. You got enough influence to, you know, they seeing all this record labels and all this, this music is making, it's kill people and they, everything that it's doing. They sitting back. We're gonna get you, buddy. We're gonna get you. And even if he beat the case, they're gonna, they're going to break his ass. You're going to spend hell of money. Lawyers. Da, 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 da. You know? Sit you down. Waste your time. Take your freedom. Even if you don't. Even if you do beat it. We got you out of time. You're going to sit down. There's no bond. There's none of that. It's over with. Sit down. Get you a lawyer. Sit in jail. And you over famous. They're not letting you walk in population. They're going to put you on 23 and 1. You have no choice. You have no choice. They're going to tell you that. You know? You super famous. No, we're not letting him walk the main line like that. He might do get lucky, but I don't think so. But all them songs, everything Dirk done made and da-da-da-da, man, you should you been giving advice. To other people, you should have been taking advice for yourself. Watch who you call your homie. All that, you should have watched who you called your homie. They want to talk about yelling, talk about me, and talk about them. Let me tell you who win at the end of the day. The last man standing, man, breathing out here with their kids, walking this land as a free man. You're not winning in jail. <laughs> You definitely not winning the side of no goddamn casket. More of the story, be careful the company you keep, be careful your friends, be careful what you, what you say out your mouth, be careful what you say to people, be careful who you hang with, 
be careful. Every person is not meant to know about everything. I tell y'all, this music, y'all just be. And y'all call somebody a snitch. But half of the music, half of everything, everything they got from your goddamn self. <laughs> <laughs> it's no secret to um, the trauma that he grew up in and how he has worked to turn that trauma um, into opportunities um, for other for other people you were given uh, about a month after uh, taking office a hundred fifty thousand dollar campaign donation from him do you feel like you should donate that to charity or uh, do something with that money? Is it tainted? Well, I mean, you know, look, um, you know, I don't operate in feelings. You know, I operate in truth and justice. And again, I don't know all the circumstances around um, these accusations. But again, what I do know for sure is that, you know, here's um, another example of a young black man who grew up in severe trauma that led to life choices that he has been very open and vocal about um, healing from those choices. It's why he's been committed um, to finding um, his righteous path, um, seeking out you know, truth and justice through his faith, while also investing in behavior and mental health support uh, for individuals. Look, our, the, the- What will you, May, what will you do with the money? Well, as, as I said, um, right now we have allegations, right, that he has not been tried. And, and I, look, I understand the question. I don't, I don't want you to think that I don't understand the question. I'm you just saying okay you're, you're asking me a question about someone who has worked to transform his life, um, who has admitted um, that he is on a journey to transformation and has not been charged with anything. Oh, but what uh, I'm sorry has not been convicted of anything and so if you're asking me if I should make a judgment on a black man before a full trial has actually come to fruition I hope you do understand why it is not my position to to determine the outcome of someone's life what the hell did you just say you did in prison, I thought I miss you I just wish that you ain't live by the pistol But you forever my little hitter I just wish you got big R.P. Paul My nigga really died for the guap Here's the big thing you gotta understand about the little Dirk situation The indictment that's been released is not a gang RICO charge In a gang charge, if they prove you're in the gang You're responsible for the acts of the other gang members However, this is murder for hire doesn't matter if he's in a gang or what or this or that. What's going to matter here is did he pay, hire someone for the murder? Okay, so unless they link Dirk to the money, it's not murder for hire. Rico gang would be totally different. Then you start talking about, oh, did this guy ever wear the words OTF on his shirt? You know, did he ever do that? You know, this is not that case. It's murder for hire. They're going to try to connect him to the money that was paid to the shooter. That's the only way they get him on murder for hire, which you face life for if the, the murder for hire involved a death. Some people are really fucking stupid. A lot of shit pissed me off. Like he got Lil Dirk going down for uh, killing Quando Rondo's test, you know. So they pretty much indicted uh, Lil Dirk and all his homies. The ones that was involved in this murder is five dudes. Um, supposedly, Lil Dirk paid them, got them on flights, got them over here, rented a car. Um, it was all through uh, OTF's credit cards, you know, but Lil Dirk is actually um, running around with one of the shooters that was involved in Quando Rondo's cousin. Yeah. And as he's... uh on private jets with the shooter, they're doing certain things and going certain places and they end up in LA, right? So when they end up in LA, that's when the feds is looking at this like, okay, so you pretty much got him to LA so he can do the shooting. 
you know, and um, it's all connected to Little Dirt. Um, it's all connected to OTF. They haven't put any racketeering charges or any uh, RICO charges together, but um, this looking more like a state case and a Fed case, you know, but just looking more like they're not going to uh, use a RICO act in this to where they start snatching up everybody from different uh, cities and shit. This looks like it's more involved in straight up murder for hire. Um, the feds, the only reason the feds are getting involved because they cross state lines. Now, if it was in a state, if it was in the same uh, state or city, then it would have just been a um, state charge. But anyway, since uh, Lil Dirk has money and influence, you know, they want to lock him up, no bail, don't need him out in the streets, uh, causing any more havoc than he's already been accused of for years. Uh, it's just crazy that uh, these dudes that's known for some notorious things are getting keys to the city. You know, it just makes the normal person be like, why the fuck did I decide to be a worker? Why did not I just be a rapper? Rappers can kill people, get away with it, murder people, give people money for this, give money, people money for that, and they get away with it. But when it's the normal citizen, they getting shot and in, in a car, armless, with nothing on them, uh, and they throw out the case of the officer. This is what I'm talking about. But when we got uh, big wigs running around, they getting keys to the city, Diddy. Now, uh, Little Dirk gets two keys to the city. After he's in a conspiracy to murder multiple people, I mean, you got a uh, victim suing, victim's mother suing him. You got victims speaking out about him, you know, uh, about how his uh, actions didn't cost him his friend or the loved one and stuff like that. But it's just, uh, it's just fucked up though. So he was running around with the credit cards, uh, purchasing tickets, purchasing rental cars, and, uh, yeah, getting them to where they need to go to actually uh, do this murder. Supposedly, they he offered them uh, fifty thousand, whatever. Supposedly, this is all in the this is all in the indict, indictment, right? So supposedly, they were supposed to go and do this murder off of uh, OTF credit cards. Make sure, but Lil Dirk said. Don't have the credit cards linked to me or whatever. However you make the purchase, don't have it linked to me. I don't know why he didn't just take his credit cards back and make sure they're not linked to him. I don't give a fuck what you do. Go buy a cash. Go start a fucking cash app. Go do a net spin card. I don't give a fuck what you do. Go buy one of them fucking gas station cards. And you can use that shit anywhere. The base of gold or whatever the fuck is like a $50 card. Go buy one for 500 Go book the fucking flight. Nobody's name is attached to a shit. But these dudes that he's running around with use this credit card and it's all linked up back to him. They were actually uh, doing so much with the credit cards to where now the Fed see everybody's name that was linked with the credit card. It, I guess they were just booking flights back, back, back and forth. Not only that, they, uh, they booked rental cars and shit. So once you're doing all that, it's kind of easy to see who was there with you because all the fans got to do is go to the flight, log, see who the fuck got on the plane, this and that. Speaking of planes, little Dirk decided to, uh, he was going to, Maybe, possibly, because the only reason I say that he booked three flights. He booked one to Switzerland, one to uh, uh, a what was that uh, Dubai, and one to uh, uh, Italy. And he booked all three of these international flights on the same day. Didn't didn't hop on two, but was gonna hop on one, and that's where the feds caught him at. See, the feds is watching all this shit. They know when you're not hopping on the plane. 
they're not they're not thinking, oh shit, he went to Switzerland. Oh shit, he went to that was a smart move. But he should have just hopped on a fucking yacht and just sailed the fuck out, out of here. Or something, but anyway, I digress. Little Dirk is pretty much hooked. It's too much evidence against this dude. And we already know how feds work. They're going to make sure they collect all en enough evidence, all the evidence they can, to make sure that you can't wiggle your way out of this situation. Because they're not trying to just have somebody up there that they don't convict or that can slide and, and manipulate the, uh, the jury or anything like that. They're trying to make sure this shit is. Sealed tight, so there's no mistakes. What is the mistake is Lil Dirk moving like this is a millionaire. Lil Dirk still got shooters on his on his team, and you know he's telling them to go do this to Quando Rondo. Quando Rondo been having multiple attempts on his life. People were shooting at him at by his house in Savannah, Georgia. People were shooting at him in L.A. He, he, he dropped his flag. He is done banging. He was done with this shit about almost a year ago. After his uh, cousin got killed and stuff, he said he don't want to bang no more. He's not with that shit. You know? Now you can only imagine how much grief he felt over his cousin dying over shit that don't got nothing to do with his cousin, let alone him. Shit. The reason... Uh, King Von and fucking uh, Fondo Rondo was going at it. It's because Little Dirk and NBA Youngboy was going at it. So their bosses was going at it. Now the, the guys that's under their bosses was going at it. And that's all this shit stemmed from. Fondo Rondo didn't even get off on nobody. I don't even think he did a sneak dip. He ain't even diss nobody. He didn't even want to really get involved in this beef because it didn't have nothing to do with him. But once King Von involved Quando Wando, because Quando Wando got signed to uh, NBA Youngboy, just like Lil Dirk signed Von, or put Von on, or however you want to see it. Just like NBA Youngboy put Quando Wando on. Both of the bosses are in jail now. And this is this is just the sad part of um, the black community, how we just think that it's tip for tat, everybody can get smacked, anybody can get it. We have to protect our millionaires. What the fuck? NBA young boy should not be in jail for four years. Lil Dirk shouldn't be facing death, nigga. These are millionaires that actually put their time and effort into their talent. God given ability. To come up with some rhymes and write some rhythmic shit that we all can enjoy. But you stupid motherfuckers let these damn millionaires slip right through our fucking fingers. Just like Diddy or any of these motherfuckers. We could have took Diddy to Thailand and nobody would have said shit. We could have took Diddy anywhere. Brazil, Colombia, Cuba, Mexico. He could have took Diddy anywhere. He could have had his fucking parties and nobody would have said nothing. But since we're in America and they got feds everywhere and they got people watching and they want to make sure these motherfuckers don't make too much motherfucking money or can make some moves out here, hip hop police is real. I don't know what y'all really thinking. That these motherfuckers don't want to see you down. The nigga, get some motherfucking money and watch how these motherfuckers try to see you without. Get some real money and watch how these motherfuckers turn on you and don't want you to have no more. Jealousy's a motherfucker. Envy's a motherfucker. They want to tell you to slide for, for Vaughn. So much so to where Dirk feels like he has to slide for Vaughn. Everybody's watching, nigga. Everybody's watching. I don't give a fuck. Listen, we know we want slide. We know we want to get our revenge. We know we got to get our vengeance. But 
If the feds watching, the cameras is everywhere. Is it worth me going down for life? Possibly hitting this dude. I mean, because you know, nigga get shot five times, ask 50. Nigga should hit five times and still live. So if I run up, hit this nigga five times, he live, snitch on me, I get life. Nigga, who wins? That nigga I shot half his dick off? No. He don't win. I don't win. Maybe the feds. Maybe the state. Whatever the fuck the case is going to, that's who won. But this is the bullshit that I say, uh, uh, that I see going through the black community. Why is it we sacrificing our millionaires, damn near billionaires sometimes, to these motherfuckers that don't give a fuck? Don't let them crash out. Don't let them crash out. Don't let Michael Jackson crash out over drugs. This is our fucking millionaire, bruh. Gotta make sure this nigga stay on point. Oh, man, you can't tell him nothing. They, 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 fuck that. Where, where your big bro at? Somebody gonna rough your ass up and sit your ass down somewhere. Because this shit ain't gonna... Man, I don't give a fuck. You 60 years old, nigga. You still need to get checked. There still needs to be some check-ins going on in this motherfucker, man. Just because little Dirk got so many goons. Yeah, that's why I put that gilly shit up in here. Because somebody needs to check this thing. Oh, Wallow, my man. Gilly and Wallow. Because, niggas, somebody needs to check these niggas, man. Tell these niggas, stop. There's got to be a time and a place for everything. There's got to be some kind of uh, respect and humbleness given when you're making all this fucking money. There's got to be... Because you, you got the money and the power. Now you can crush niggas. But you got to stay humble. There's got to be some humbleness when it comes to this shit. Or you're going to be absolutely, you're going to turn into a monster. I'm going to turn into a fucking monster, man. Signs acceptance and we ain't having it. Like, comment, subscribe.